Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're in Manhattan, New York City, and I am walking along the skyline or the high line. So what you see here is to my to the right or right there is the old train tracks that ran all the way down the West Side Highway. So in order to uh, make the West Side Hi Highway the way it is today, they cut all of it down and there was also cars. So this train railroad was built in 1933 and this skyline, this walkway here for pedestrians was built in 2009. And uh, you know, I've been living in New York my New whole York. life and this is the first time I've, I've known about this. You know, I'm pretty uh, upset about it. But if you can see all the way down there, they're building more staircases to come up from this side somehow. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, tracks, old train tracks. So when we get to a different location, we will get back. Yeah, see new buildings here? Look at that. The glass is old and the brick is like, who knows how old that is. But glass is cheap. That's why everything's made out of glass. And you don't see any solar panels, so meaning that they don't work or for longevity, they're not feasible. So these, these architects and engineers don't put them on the buildings because they don't, it's not worth it in the long run. It's not worth it. So you better just paying the energy and that's the end of it. So we're coming up to something here. Let's see what that is. All right, so here's an elevator for handicapped people, which is good. I mean, you know, sometimes you got carriages and strollers and you want to take the handicapped. So here's a map of the whole walkway, which is pretty, it's pretty long. I mean, it's like blocks and blocks and blocks. And it's free, you know, it's just an attraction that's free. Garbage. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, you get the coach over there. Look at that, nice, nice views. Beautiful day to do it. You know, it's nice and cool out. The weather's nice and clean, crisp. The Hudson River's right over there. And New Jersey's right across the way. So we're coming up to the shed, whatever the hell that is. There must be something cool in there. I hear the trussels that held up the whole thing. The tree. Yeah, pretty nice. So right here is the vessel. Right? And that's the mall, the vessel, Christmas cheer, pretty awesome, look at that, wow. So basically what you do is you walk up, it's sort of like the Eiffel Tower of New York, I would say, but this is much nicer than the Eiffel Tower, you know, all looks like all bronze. Look at this beautiful park. So you come down here. And yeah, look at that. Nice Christmas trees, well, lit up for Christmas. So there's a nice park here. So if you can't come to New York, to this thing, you know, I'm showing it to you. Look at that, you first hand. You got front row seat, you just stay home. And look at it here, look at the size of this building. Whoa, skyscraper. Nice. There you can see people's reflections. This is pretty, pretty cool. See, we did, we, we outdid the French, right? 
We don't need no stinking Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Look at the ground, it's nice. All different shades of gray. And if you come to the edge here, Jibs restaurant. There's all the trains. That's the New Jersey transit trains, all in there. There's the Hudson, of course, New Jersey. And if you come around, man, there it is. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Yes, and you can walk all the way to the top. Here's the inside. This is New York's version of the Eiffel Tower. But unfortunately, we can't go up there because allegedly some asshole tried to jump off. Yeah. So that's what they say. The truth behold with, you know, fake news, fake science, bullshit media. We don't know. We have this here. It looks brighter. So if you come out here, handicap, there's a little view there. It's nice, but you know, they won't let you go up, which is which is bullshit. So I guess at one time, um, unless they're gonna open it up to uh, let people go back up. And you walk up this ramp here. I guess we can go there. Just let's let's do something dangerous. So I'm gonna walk down on the inside. So basically, like, you start here, right, and you just walk up the ramp. I climbed over. I always do it the most difficult way, or the fun way. If you think that's difficult, I think that's the fun way. Right here. Look at that. Yes, no, yep. And then you're in. So there's one way in. There's other. There were other ways in, but you know, in 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 Paris in the Eiffel Tower they charge admission if you want to go to the top. So here there's no admission. They did have an elevator, but they closed it. So everybody's like, put the phone down here. So everybody's putting their camera with their front-facing camera. Put the back-facing camera. It's the same shot. Yeah. Hudson Yards, New York. So we're in Hudson Yards. It's pretty nice. And that's the mall. Expensive mall. Here's another look from the back. Who would want to jump off of here? Like they were that, oh, maybe they, somebody from France. They were jealous that we have something nice in the Eiffel Tower, so they sent somebody to jump. Cool, look at that building. See, this bench is purposely made like this, so you can't sleep on it, but it's nice. That's pretty cool, the anchors for the building. The Bloomberg building. Ah. Good old Bloomberg. We need less Bloombergs in the world. So basically that, that structure is a pine cone. And we're back on the walkway, the old railroad. 
They used to, you know, traverse New probably all New York City. Perhaps they went to the Bronx. And yeah, welcome to Hudson Yards. So that's pretty interesting, a pine cone. It's not a very Christmassy place. But it's nice. I mean, I appreciate this, you know, for um, historians and that, you know, wanted to put this together and, and, and conserve it, you know, for people to experience. You know, they could have just knocked this all down. That's yeah, pretty cool. There's a lot of people here. This is like the best time to come to New York when it's cool like this. You don't want to come in the summer. It's too hot. I mean, imagine, imagine you'd be on top of here and it was like... 95 degrees you'd be dying at least in the cold you can walk all day long you're not gonna sweat you're not gonna be hot you won't be thirsty you'll warm up it's perfect walking weather you don't want to come to the city in the summer unless you're gonna go to the beach like in Brooklyn or Long Island or the Jersey Shore if you're not gonna go to the, the beaches in this when you come here in the summertime come in the fall just take your kids out of school and just come in the fall, come in the winter when it's not that brutally cold like in February. But like this time of the year, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. Some more train track. But if you live near like in Connecticut, tri-state area, Pennsylvania, you know, even if you got to drive eight hours, it's not that bad. You'd enjoy this. So you can see the old train. Like the, uh, oh, un this is an underpass or a bridge for the train to go over. Look at that. 1937. They probably put this up like in the 20s before they opened it. And this is the staircase going down. Okay. Coming around. I guess it's all caged into jumpers. It's pretty clean. You know, it doesn't smell. It's wide open. Yeah, let's see. Go down here. And that's what it looks like underneath the bridge. This is a bridge. That's a lot of steel for back then. So that's what the staircase looks like going up. Right? Use a nice paint job, but it's okay. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Look at that. Not bad. A little nostalgic. Can't go wrong. Hi right, guys, John Avanti here. Thanks for watching. Peace out and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.